So my name is Eli and I come from Slovakia. I have been in Japan for about a year now and I have been interested in living here ever since I was around seven years old. So it really makes me happy to be here. So thank you for joining my channel this time. Okay, so you are <gasps> now you are home. You are yes. in your room. Most of these days. Mm -mm -mm -mm. This is my little room. I live in a share house with uh, other Japanese people and I've been home for two months now because my company closed because of the, the, the issue that's going on right now. Mm. Looks like a traditional Japanese room. It is actually, it is a, I have tatami and a futon and everything. <laughs> that's, that was my dream to have a traditional Japanese room. So I'm really happy here. Wow, nice. So when you sleep, you use futon? Futon. Futon. <laughs> yes. Oh, wow. <laughs> so what kind of Japanese foods do you usually eat? Do you eat or? Well, you don't really eat. I usually make my own meals because it's a little bit expensive in Tokyo. So I go with udon or um, soba Ramen. most of the times. But yeah, oh my gosh. The, if I have to choose like my favorite Japanese meal, it would be very thick tonkotsu ramen. <laughs> I could die for that, so that's definitely my favorite. Okay, mm. sounds nice. This is your first time, Katsuya, or you've tried before? It's the first time. It's the first time that I tried Katsuya. Mm. I didn't even know that it existed, to be honest, before you told me. I, I like this kind of foods as well, so I hope you mm. will like these foods. You also have like a YouTube channel. I've seen it. Yes, I have, a, I have my own YouTube channel. It's called Fox on the Road. It's a, it's quite a small one, but I really enjoy making videos from Japan about daily life or what I experience while being here. I will check it out after this. <laughs> check it out! <laughs> Subscribe! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so let's get started. Okay, so I have it here. I'm gonna open it. Mm. So, I got this soup, right? Never tried that before, and then we have this katsudon. I don't know what's inside though. I suppose katsu. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna take the camera now. So it looks big. <laughs> so there we have the katsu and so the soup. How do you call it? Ton tanji tonjiro tanjiro <laughs> tanjiro <laughs> Tonjiru, tonjiru, okay. And that soup is, what is it, mm, what is it made of? It's made of like uh, pork inside and some vegetables. Mm. Wow, that looks delicious. Let's have a bite. Yes. Then. Yes. Okay, itadakimasu. Itadakimasu. All right. Mmm. Mmm. It's delicious! Mm. 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 It's, it tastes like mother's mother's cooking. Yeah. Yes. This this soup would be perfect if you are having a flu or something. Actually, that's my mom usually cook when I get sick. Mm. Oh really? Yeah. I really like it. So it's just basically beaten pork broth with oh konyaku ah! and uh, some veggies. Mm -hmm. Carrots, onions. It. Mm, I think we have something similar in my country. We don't put uh, pork in it, but I think I like it more with meat inside. Like with veggies, it can be a little bit boring, but with meat, I think it's uh, it makes a nice combination. So pretty good. Oh, yum! <laughs> I see. Cut the time. Okay. All right. All right. So there is egg on top of it. I see. Yeah. Right. Deep fried pork. All right. Let me see. Mmm. Ah. <laughs> mmm. Yum. <laughs> yum. <laughs> Mmm! Mmm! 
So I thought it was going to be crunchy, mm -hmm. but I think the egg made it very soft, but I, I like it. I like that it's soft and not crunchy. Mm. Oh my god, this is really good. Mm. Yum. Mm -hmm. This combination with egg and this katsu is the best. It cost about like 500 yen when I was a student or when I was uh, younger. Like I used to eat this a mm -hmm. lot, but now I sometimes go there, but not quite often. I see. Can you recommend me? Like, what is your food for me, a country? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> the most typical thing is called halushki, and uh, it's just potato dumplings. Okay. With cheese. And we also put some bacon in it. When you eat it, you feel very full. It's, it's a very traditional food. If you just eat it once per day, you have enough of food for the entire day. So really, but it's pretty. It's pretty nice. I like it because it's a very, it's a very countryside kind of food. So, oh. and it's with special sheep cheese. So. Oh wow! Wow, I recommend. And we also eat a lot of meat. I think. And it's the same in my country. We eat this kind of... Well, it's not the same. We fry... Um, it's called sch schnitzel, right? German type of... Yeah. <laughs> but the, the, the... It's different. We don't use panko. Mm. We use a different thing to fry it, so... That's good. I'm losing my mind because I love spending time outside and I love going out. I'm ve I feel very limited, but it's okay. I, I know that it's it's for the it's for the safety and all that. But I really hope that this situation is going to be over soon because I just want to enjoy the time outside. I completely stopped filming outside because like uh, my channel the mm. concept is like going out to the restaurant to try um, Japanese food. So mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But now I started you know, making videos with this kind of style. But this is a really, gr this is a really great idea, I think. I, I thought it was very creative mm -hmm. to, to do it this way. I don't know, I was very surprised because I was like, but how does he want to do it when we cannot be? But then you said, oh, let's do it like through Skype and all that. I was like, whoa, okay, that's actually, <laughs> that can work. You're doing a great job. Teach me. <laughs> Did you eat everything? <laughs> I have, well, I eat very fast, <laughs> so I have uh, I have only some rice left. Um, I I always eat extremely fast. Okay, so also the rice was very nice mm, because I don't like when rice is very dry, but with this sauce, it mm, it's very juicy. So I like that. So can you introduce me uh, like uh, one or two places for a sightseeing? from your country, Slovakia. Okay, so for the nature, I recommend you visit a place called Low Tatras. It's a mountain range, uh, one of the highest mountain ranges in uh, Slovakia. And it's, uh, it's the best place where you can go hiking or skiing or you can go there any time of the year. It's uh, one of, I think it's one of the most beautiful places that we have. And for the histo history, I think a city called Banska Stiavnica mm -hmm. is the best because there are many old buildings, lots of historical architecture, and it's a very quiet and small town. Mm, I feel like it's a very authentic experience in Slovakia. Wow, sounds so, so good. Make sure to visit next time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you for your recommendation. I'm definitely You're welcome. if I have a chance. I loved the soup, but it was a very familiar flavor for me, which is which is a good thing, uh, because it reminded me of home. Mm, but uh, katsudon was something different, something that I wouldn't be able to try at home, something like a very new flavor, very new type of texture. So I really like that one. I think it's very nice. Also the rice with sauce. This is uh, delicious, so 10 out of 10. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>
Ah, you're welcome. You have a great golden week. <laughs> At home. At home. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you too. Enjoy. For today. See you next time.